Watching a show featuring different breeds of dogs is undoubtedly very cool. But have you ever wondered why we don't see other animals acting like the dogs in Bluey? Or maybe we have seen them and just didn't notice. We watched all 150 plus episodes of Bluey just to unravel this mystery so we could share it with you. So stick with us and let's dive into this as we start another episode of Cinewave. Animals in different countries. In the episode Cinema, when Bluey goes to watch Chunky Chimp with her parents, we see that the movie is almost entirely performed by characters resembling monkeys. And what if they don't just resemble monkeys, but are actually chimpanzees who, like the dogs, live in a society and organize cities, just like the dogs do in Australia, but in another country, like China or Japan, for example? This idea would form a theory that explains why we don't usually see other animals in Bluey's world. According to this theory, each country would have its own dominant species that function similarly to humans, studying, working, getting married, and raising young. In Bluey's homeland, the dominant species would be dogs in their various breeds, ruling over the entire country. In the country where the chimpanzee movie was filmed, which could easily be China, different species of monkeys could inhabit the place, like orangutans, marmosets, baboons, gorillas, and chimpanzees, in a style reminiscent of Planet of the Apes. In England, for instance, the country could be dominated by pink animals that love jumping in muddy puddles, if you catch my drift. If you thought of pigs like Peppa Pig, that's exactly what I was hinting at. So if this theory holds Holds, there could be a world where both Bluey and Peppa coexist. That would be pretty cool. Continuing with our theory, we might say that the United States could be inhabited by horses and other equines, while Japan could be dominated by cats and other felines. This would explain, for example, why so many kids in Bluey's world adore pony and unicorn toys, and why animated series about cats are so popular among the younger characters, much like Japanese anime, which is a huge hit worldwide. However, not all animals would have evolved to the point of forming organized societies. This would be the case with octopi and other marine animals, which are only found in books and on the internet, and sheep and goats, which Bandit imitates among various other animals in the episode Magic Asparagus. But this would be, let's say, one of the more peaceful theories, as there are others that are a bit darker. Dogs eliminated other animals. We know that Bandit is one of the most renowned archaeologists we know in Bluey. Or rather, he's the only one. But the fact is that when we look at his office, we can see some clues that help us in our quest to discover the truth about the existence of other species of animals in Bluey's world. For example, we can see a painting that depicts everything that has been discovered about the canine species in their not-so-rational past. Or at least that's how Bluey's scientists think it was, since it's a drawing and not an engraving found on the walls of a cave. In this image, we can see a cave dog standing upright, and on his shoulder, we can clearly see a cat. And it seems to me that the cat is not the pet of the cave dog, but rather his dinner. If this theory is indeed true, we can say that two different things may have happened. Either the dogs eliminated any other animal that could have evolved and became rational like them over the thousands of years following the existence of cave people, or dogs, along with other animals, also evolved. But over time, canine origin animals organized themselves better and formed armies, as we see with Rusty's dad. And, as you may know, armies have only one goal, to defeat the enemy, which is exactly what the dogs might have done, claiming the entire world for themselves. This would explain why the whole society in the world of the blue dog revolves exclusively around dogs. But we still have another theory that also makes a lot of sense and might explain in another way why there are no other animals in Bluey. And if you've enjoyed what you've seen so far, do a favor for that friend of yours who loves animated shows and share this video with them. Perfect. Only dogs are rational. What sets humans apart from other animals isn't strength, speed, or sharp vision. After all, there are animals like elephants, cheetahs, and eagles that surpass us in all those aspects. However, we are still the dominant species on Earth for one very special reason. We're rational, even if it doesn't always seem that way. <laughs> Just a side note, I'm talking about myself here. But now, let's imagine that instead of us ordinary humans, this evolution happened to dogs over time and not to humans. As time went by, dogs would have taken our place, not because they are the strongest or fastest, but simply because they became the most intelligent. This way, Bluey's world would have been built in such a way that only dogs can drive, attend school, and have various jobs. In this scenario, we could also reference the drawing that we see in Bandit's archaeology office. This would show that in reality, dogs hunted cats in the past not to eliminate competition or anything like that, but simply because they were the superior species and needed food. This would explain, for example, why in Bluey's world there are doctors for dogs and veterinarians for other non-rational animals. Since, for the dogs in Bluey's world, they are not animals, but all other species are, and therefore they must be treated by veterinarians. In this way, many things in Bluey could be easily explained, like why some animals, such as the kangaroos we see in the series, live in the forest.
forests, or why the girls play hunting in the episode onesies, with one of them pretending to be a leopard and the other a zebra, which represents the dog's world as it truly is, since they are the only rational animals. Wow. Humans no longer exist. Another theory that could explain why dogs dominate the world is the idea that humans once existed but are no longer around. Following the theory of evolution, it's as if humanity once inhabited the Earth, but for some unknown reason, the human race stopped reproducing and its population eventually disappeared, leaving behind everything – cities, technology, and all the things we use daily at school or work. However, when this happened, something entirely new took place. Another species that still inhabited the planet gradually took over our functions and our place in the social social hierarchy. And since dogs, not other species, are humanity's best friends, they were the animals that lived with us the most and therefore had an easier time, so to speak, replacing us in our normal roles in society. And if you think about it, anyone with a dog at home will notice that they watch us exercise, watch TV, or use our phones. So they could easily memorize our behavior and over time start doing the same things, just like we see the characters in Bluey doing. And just like us humans, dogs begin to pass this new lifestyle from one generation to the next, making the new behavior so common that it seems seemed like it had always been this way. That's why it's so natural to see that everything in Bluey's world seems to be designed to meet canine needs. I don't know about you, but this theory actually makes a lot of sense to me. Post-apocalyptic world. Following a similar thread as the previous theory, there's the classic idea that everything in the show takes place in a distant future where humans no longer exist, or at least don't inhabit our world anymore. Of course, this is a well-worn theory that we've seen in shows like Adventure Time, where the Mushroom War wiped out humanity, who ended up moving to Mars. Following the same logic we've seen in other shows and movies, this theory suggests that humans were the dominant species, just as they are today, but some cataclysm caused humanity to cease to exist. According to this theory, the world went through a third and fourth Fourth World War, and the same nuclear or biological weapons that caused humanity to vanish directly affected the DNA of animals, especially the various species of dogs. As a result, canines began to walk on two legs and use their thumbs like we do. And so, they began to live in a more peaceful and tranquil society since dogs don't have political problems to solve amongst themselves like we do. However, even as the years went by and dogs' lives became very similar to those of humans, we can see that some of their most basic instincts still remain. For example, they wag their tails when they're happy. Or they howl when they're sad, as we see in the episode Pass the Parcel. Or in some rare cases, we see some puppies born with the habit of walking on all fours, just like we see Bluey's cousin Socks doing. All of this would harken back to their wild past when dogs were still pets and lived with humans in their homes. And since dogs are the most common species of pets, they became the dominant species in the world, not any other type of animal. When you think about it, even though it's not an original theory, it does make some sense, don't you think? And now, I'm going to talk about the best and final theory as to why there are no other animals in Bluey. But if you've made it this far in the video, it means you're enjoying it, so I'm sure we deserve your like. Alternate Universe but without a doubt, the theory that makes the most sense to me is the idea that our world exists in a parallel dimension to Bluey's, where the realities are very similar, with just one small difference. Here, humans exist, and over there, we don't. And because of that, dogs went through the same process of organizing into families and societies that we did over the years, since we first inhabited the world. That's why in Bluey's universe, dogs are the dominant species, not other animals. There could even be other dimensions inhabited by different animals, like cats for example. So, if this really could be true, it would mean that right now, Bluey's world might exist in an alternate dimension, and we all exist in the universe at the same time. When I think about it, I can't help but imagine how cool it would be to have an interdimensional portal machine that would let me visit Bluey's universe from time to time, just to hang out. <laughs> I think it would be a lot of fun. And if I could, I'd definitely take you with me. Deal? Since I haven't created that portal machine yet, for now, I'll keep having fun watching some really awesome videos here on the channel. And I'm inviting you to join me! Pick one of these two videos that are popping up on your screen and click on it. I'll see you in the next one, okay? Until then.